Is everyone ready to go to the beach? Yay, beach! I want to go surfing. Let's go! Alright kids, here we go! Peppa, what do you like best about the beach? I like the sand. And George, what about you? Dinosaurs! George, you always say dinosaurs. There are no dinosaurs at the beach. Aww! Don't worry, you'll have lots of fun. Are we quite there yet? Patience, Peppa. Ah, here we are, kids. Yay! Woohoo! Righto, now let's hop out. Last one to the ocean's a rotten egg. Surf's up. Wait for me, Peppa. Look at me, I'm surfing on a wave. Cowabunga! Cannonball! Oh, no you don't. You need your floaties. Aww. Here I come, Peppa. Hee hee. Look at me. Looking good, George. You're doing great. Look at me, kids. I'm buried in the sand. Daddy, you're too close to the shore. Of course I'm not. <laughs> okay, maybe you are right. Daddy Pig, stop being silly and show the kids how to fish with these fishing poles that we brought. Oh, yes, of course. Come on, kids. I'll show you how to fish. All right. Now take your rods and reels and cast them into the ocean and see if you catch something. Okay, here I go. Look at this. I caught a redfish. Great catch, Peppa. George, you give it a try. Okay, here I go. Yay, I got a blue fish. Good job, George. Catching fish is fun. And look, I got a yellow one. Yay, great job, Peppa. And I got a green one. Great job, kids. You caught one, two, three, four fish. Now let's throw them back so they can rejoin their families. Great thinking, Daddy. Ta-ta, little fish. Papa, George, would you like to make some sand figures with us? Oh, sounds delightful. I'll start with my mold first. I'll take my green mold and a little blue sand. Look, I made a car. My turn. I'll use this yellow mold and some green sand. Yay, I made an airplane. Now I'll make a figure with my mold. I'll fill my orange mold with purple sand. Look, I made a bow. Great figures, everyone. Now it's my turn. I'll use a blue mold and I'll fill it with pink sand. made a train. And I've made a sandcastle. Wow, Daddy, how'd you do that? Well, I am a bit of an expert. It's melting. Nonsense, George. It's indestructible. Watch. Oops. Yes, maybe you're right after all. Daddy Pig, stop showing off for the kids. Peppa, George, do you guys want to find some treasure with a shovel? Yay, treasure! I'm going to find seashells. I'm going to find dinosaurs. Silly George, there are no dinosaurs at the beach. Come on, let's find seashells. All right, George, stand back while I do some digging. Look, Daddy, I found something. Can you tell me what it is? Certainly. This is a seashell, and it once belonged to a living creature of the sea. The mini ridges on it can be used to help tell how old it was. Wow. I want to find something else. Look, Daddy. Look what I got. Can you tell me what it is? Of course. You found a shark tooth from a real live shark. It's very large and very pointy. Shark. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> Neato, Daddy. I want to find more treasure. Look! 
What could this be? Peppa, you found the spine of a sea urchin. It's very long and very sharp. Wow, there's treasure everywhere. George, it's your turn to find treasure. Yay, treasure! Dick, 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 dick. George, careful with that sand. Have you found anything yet? Dinosaur! George, there are no dinosaurs at the beach. Come on, Daddy, let's see what he's found. See? Dinosaur! Daddy, what is that? That is a dinosaur fossil, left from a real-life dinosaur millions of years ago. A real dinosaur? Yes, even though the dinosaurs lived millions and millions of years ago, their bones could stay preserved in the form of fossils, like this one here. Hee <laughs> hee! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! More fossils! More fossils! Dig dig dig! Dig dig dig! <laughs> dinosaur! Daddy, what should we do with all these fossils? We need to take them all to the museum so they can be identified. Come on, kids! Daddy Pig, are you quite sure we couldn't hire a mover? Oh no, movers are much too expensive. Just sit tight, Mummy Pig. Daddy, are you sure the museum will know what to do with all these fossils? Of course! And they'll be able to tell us all about them. Now buckle up and let's go! Well, hello there. What brings you to the Natural History Museum? We brought some things that you might find interesting. Really? What? Dinosaurs! We found them at the beach. Wow, that's terrific news. Let's set them out here and take a look. These really are fantastic specimens. Let's put them together to see if we can find out what dinosaurs they belong to. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Then let's get started. We have what appears to be a rib cage and some very long bones here which I think are the front legs and these short bones must be the back legs and a very distinct skull with three horns I think this belongs to a triceratops yes indeed it is and a very fine and complete specimen at that now let's see what the other dinosaur could be We'll start with this here. It has a backbone, rib cage, and tail. And this bone here would be its femur, or upper leg. And this one here is its tibia, or shin bone. It's starting to come together quite nicely. Ah, and these short arm bones are indicative of certain dinosaur species. We'll know more once we attach the skull. Aha, uh -huh, just as I suspected. It's a T-Rex, or Tyrannosaurus Rex. There, now we can use advanced technology to approximate what these dinosaurs looked like. We'll attach an outer skin layer to our triceratops. And attach it to the other side like this. Ah, oh, what a fine representation. Now let's move on to our other dinosaur. We'll place our T-Rex fossils into the cast. And secure it to the other side like so looking very ferocious and there we are two fine models these will make fine additions to our exhibits but while they get set up would you like to take a look at our museum more dinosaurs yes more dinosaurs yes let's do it follow me all right everyone through here let's go wait for me george wait for the grown-ups children we're not good at running wow what is that that is a stegosaurus. Come on, we'll take a closer look. This is our yellow stegosaurus. It lived 150 million years ago and could get up to 30 feet long. As you can see, it had plates along the back that could help it regulate its temperature. And it had sharp spikes along the tail to help it defend itself against meat-eating dinosaurs. Now let's move along to our next exhibit. Here's our blue Diplodocus, also from 150 million years ago. As you can see, it had a very long neck to help it reach the leaves of the tallest trees, making them some of the longest dinosaurs to live and could reach 100 feet long. Wow, that's so neat. Now come along everyone, I'll show you our next dinosaur. And this is the Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus? Parasaurolophus, 
Our orange specimen here is from 75 million years ago. The Parasaurolophus had an unusual crest on its head, and we're not quite sure what it was used for. It could have been used for making loud noises, or just showing off. These dinosaurs could get to 30 feet long, just like the Stegosaurus. Now follow me to our next exhibit. Our blue Ankylosaurus here was built like a tank, with a hard shell on its back like a turtle, and it even had a heavy club tail that it used to swipe at enemies. The Ankylosaurus lived 65 million years ago and fed on plants. Now let's check out the two exhibits that you guys brought. I think they're ready. Ah, oh, here it is, our teal triceratops. Its name means three-horned face. As you can see, they had three sharp horns they could use for defense. These unique creatures lived 65 million years ago, grew to 30 feet long, and fed on plants. Now we have one final exhibit to check out, thanks to your donation. Here it is, the pride of our museum, the new Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. The T-Rex lived 65 million years ago and was one of the largest, most ferocious meat-eating dinosaurs. Its body is characterized by a large skull and tiny arms. These dinosaurs with very sharp teeth grew to about 40 feet long. Hehe, <laughs> T-Rex, roar! Mr. Lion, what happened to the dinosaurs? Well, we don't know for sure, but we believe that 65 million years ago, a giant asteroid struck the Earth, and the enormous explosion blocked out the sun for years, causing all the dinosaurs to go extinct. Oh, that's too bad. Well, if it hadn't have happened, then other animals like you and I would not have come along. So we're lucky that history wound up the way it did. Wow, we always learn so much at the museum. We should come more often. Of course, you're always welcome. And everyone at home is welcome to visit a museum as well. You might be surprised at what you might learn. Bye everyone, thanks for joining us on this learning adventure.